So I've got a question here that involves uh, working out uh, the area of a sector. Um, it's given us a given radius and angle, and it says calculate the area of the sector. Um, any questions involving uh, formulas, um, a recommendation always is to write down the formula to kind of remind you what's going on. Now a formula requires a subject, so this is about the area of a sector. And it's always equal to, so a formula has got a subject equal to, and it's equal to the angle theta of the sector divided by 360 times, in this case, pi r squared. And basically what um, it's related to is the fact that a sector is part of a circle. So basically it's got an angle theta. Uh, we've turned part of the circle, the whole circle. So pi r squared would be the whole circle. And theta over 360 is the fraction that the sector is uh, taking up of that full circle. So it's a fraction that's been cut out. So in this case, then, we can identify that theta is 150 degrees, because theta is always the angle inside the sector. And the radius has been given as 13 centimetres. We know this is the radius because we tend to use the letter O uh, to represent the centre of a circle. And the radius is from the centre to the outside. So R is from the centre of the circle, O, to the outside circumference, the outside edge of the circle. So R, in this case, is 13 centimetres. So we follow the formula. Uh, we put in the numbers we know, so 150 divided by 360 times the pi, pi r squared next to each other is timesing, and we're timesing by the radius squared. So we put that in our calculator, and we end up with 150 divided by 360, press equals, times by pi, press equals, times by 13 squared, press equals. Uh, so 200 and 21.22. Now we recognise the question says that it wants the answer to three centimetre figures. So again, we count uh, for, for our first non-zero digit. So our first non-zero digit is the two here. So we go one, two, three. So we're going to cut the number there, which means that it's either going to be 222 uh, two or 221. And what we can see is that halfway there was 221.5. This is less than halfway, so it will have fitted in there. Um, so it's closer to 221. So the answer will be 221 square centimetres. So that's a reminder of how to calculate the area of a sector uh, when we're given the angle and the uh, radius of the sector. So another question that uh, involves area and volume. So Okay, so we've got a question here that asks us to calculate the area of a triangle. Again, a formula write it down. So the area of a triangle is equal to the base times the height divided by 2. And what we need to remember about triangles is that they can be any shape, but there will be a base length and there will be a perpendicular height. And we've got to remember that the height has to be measured at right angles to the base. So that's really important. So here we've got a base length and here we've got a right angle, so the perpendicular height is the height there. So we can follow the formula, so the base length was 6, the height was 6 as well, and then we're sharing by 2 to get the actual area of the triangle. Uh, 6 times 6, 36, halved, 18, and the units of this would be square centimetres. Always get in the habit of writing down the units, uh, just in case the question doesn't give them, because some questions uh, won't give them and expect you to uh, remember to write them. So just do it as a habit and you'll never lose that mark. So 18 square centimetres for the area of that triangle. The question goes on and it asks us to work with the volume of this prism. Now they gave us a clue here that this is about prism. So we should remember formulas again. So the volume of a prism is equal to the area of cross-section times the length. Okay, now what we've got to remember about a prism is that a prism is any shape where the same cross-section, if you cut it along the parallel edges when you're looking at a 3D uh, image in 2D, and if you cut it along those edges, the parallel edges, then you'll always see the same shape throughout. So this prism has a cross-section of a triangle. And uh, they gave you a hint, in a way, by the fact that the first part of the question actually to work out the area of this triangle. Um, so the volume of this prism then, then is going to be the volume is equal to the area of triangle 
times the length, because the cross section is a triangle, so it's going to be that. So it's going to be base times height divided by 2 for the triangle, times the length. Now the base is 6, the vertical height is 6, so 6 times 6 over 2, times the length. Well, the length of this is um, 10. Uh, what that means is that if we cut anywhere along there, we'd see the same triangle throughout. So that's why that's the length, because the cross section uh, should be cut anywhere along the length and still see the same end faces. Uh, so 10, so we times by 10. Now we already worked out that 6 times 6 uh, times uh, divided by 2 was 18. Uh, we're times it by 10, so we get 180. Now we've got to remember that in this case we multiply three lengths together, a base, a height and a length. So therefore the answer is going to be in cubic units, three dimensions. Um, again they gave you the units in this particular question, but remember there will be questions where there won't be a unit, so get in the habit of writing the units down all the time when it involves measurements. So the answer to this then will be 180 cubic centimetres. So the key to these topics uh, involving area and formulas, uh, sorry area and volume is all the time learn the formulas because you don't get given them um, and write them down to focus what you need to calculate and then think about uh, what the shapes are because um, don't forget prisms can be uh, any uh, shape at the end the cross sections <coughs> uh, the cross section shape um, in this case it was a triangle but you could have trapeziums you could have parallelograms you could have rectangles uh, circles if it's a cylinder so learn your formulas uh, guys it's uh, the best way to uh, give yourself a chance of passing your exams